McGill Robotics is the largest engineering design team at McGill University. Each year, over 200 students from engineering, science and arts come together to build autonomous robots for international competitions. This year, the team is currently developing a drone, a Mars rover and, of course, an autonomous underwater vehicle. This year's AUV represents two years of design, experimentation and improvement. The body has been rebuilt to be more ergonomic and stable, while the circuit boards have been reprinted to reduce wiring and electrical noise. This has been vital for our bi-weekly pool tests, which are important for developing our software systems. The improvements made this year will allow us to attempt even more tasks as we aim for the top at the AUVSI and ONR's RoboSub competition in San Diego, California. And so it is with great pride that I present to you McGill Robotics' latest AUV, Bradbury. This year at McGill Robotics, we determined that more testing time was critical to the development of our robot. The best way for the mechanical division to contribute to this goal was to ensure that we had a testing platform available throughout the year. To accomplish this, we decided to focus on upgrading and revising our current robot rather than trying to design and build a completely new robot. Starting with our frame and pressure vessels, we decided to keep the same style of lightweight laser cut aluminum and change the layout of our pressure vessels so that we are more stable in the water. We also made the frame more ergonomic this year by making pneumatic and electrical connections more accessible and also adding sturdy handles so that transportation of the robot was more comfortable. We also changed our pneumatic system quite a bit this year. Starting with the valve housing, we've integrated a new solid aluminum pressure vessel that is more compact and robust than last year's system. We've made our torpedoes fly further and more accurately, our marker droppers are more compact and reliable, and we've developed a new forward manipulator to accomplish new tasks. By introducing these upgrades throughout the year, we've been able to maintain a regular testing schedule and have spent more time in the pool than any year before. Bradbury is comprised of a suite of sensors that allows it to be aware of its surrounding. First of all, it has an XI new, which is basically three sensors in one. It is an accelerometer that measures acceleration in the X, Y, and Z plane. It is a gyroscope that measures acceleration in the three different axes of rotation. And it is a magnetometer that determines orientation based on the magnetic field of the Earth. We have an array of four teledyne hydrophones that are used to triangulate the sound source in water. We also use sound in different ways. We have a sonar that sends pulse of sound, which bounces back from the surrounding object. Also, we have three point grey cameras, one at the bottom and two at the front which allows us to see what's around. Lastly, we have a high-precision pressure sensor that allows us to know how deep the robot is. We've interfaced all these sensors to our main computer using custom PCBs that we've designed. We've also designed a power monitoring system that regulates the voltage that we need and also measures the power that is being consumed. This year, we have completely overhauled our software system to make better use of the sensors and actuators available to us on Bradbury but also to share our high-level functionality such as computer vision, our planner, or our front-end with McGill Robotics' new drone team to eliminate redundant work between software teams. Building upon our six degrees of freedom closed-loop control system which proved itself in our past competition, this year we've made full use of the tools and capabilities Ross offers to build a probabilistic mission and navigation planner which makes decisions on the fly. To achieve this, we've had to rethink our approach to underwater localization by making use of a visual SLAM algorithm modified to take in both IMU and sonar data. Our computer vision component has also been upgraded this year to recognize tasks more reliably. We've done that by opting for a machine learning approach as opposed to last year's filter-based approach, combined with improved underwater image processing. While we benefit from the capabilities and tools the robot operating system offers, we've also given back this year by contributing to its code base, but also by releasing ROS-compatible sonar drivers written by our team. After hundreds of hours of design and manufacturing and 24 hours of field testing, Bradbury is ready to shine this July at San Diego. We're making final preparations and we're excited to see all the other teams at Transdex.